Why did I leave these lights off? Those lights... I saw that kid. Oh, cool. I left the... Uh, left the elevator up. Didn't think I was going to have to worry about these... Children of the Damned. Good thing I have my trusty flashlight, though. Can't catch me when I'm on my little elevator. See you guys later. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm totally into whatever's going on in this little section here, in the eye hallway. Well, I found another Flotum, so did better this time than I did in the second chapter. So this is just a hallway with eye paintings. Jesus, they're moving all over the place. Oh, I thought I was still hitting them with the light. So, they... Are wearing the masks and kind of have the same power as as the lady. I'm wondering if six is like this. I think they can still, yeah, they can still grab me up here. Uh, am I just supposed to kill them? And, like, they're kind of possess possession, possessing a uh, little runaway. No, I know what to do, game. I'm just too scared of shadow people. They seem to just be coming at me, so I don't know if I want to... If I'm looking for something... How many have I killed? Two right now? Three... Oh, come on. You were getting hit by the light. Fuck you. I just don't know what I'm looking for. It honestly seems like I should just be killing. Oh, they're gonna get me. That's two. They seem to also be coming from specific spots. Three. Four. Please. Five. Six. Seven. 
I thought maybe the number of kids would mean something. It seems like they also keep spawning, so I don't know what I'm looking for right now. Do I need to just move this chair? Can I move the chair? I do, okay. I thought I needed to do something to unlock more. At the very least, it does seem like they stopped spawning, so that worked out for me. Obviously, killing those... Oh, God. Yeah, nothing I can really do here. Uh, obviously, though, I already killed a couple of Shadow Kids when I grabbed the key, so... That wasn't going to really be anything, was it? Alright, thankfully this is a checkpoint. Ooh, you can still dodge them, though. Mm, that's a lot of shadow kids. I need to get up that ladder. If I can uh, kite them all into like one spa, I should be able to light them up, so to speak. Huh? Uh. God, you guys suck. Why did I turn off the light? It's a little fidgety controlling the light sometimes for a precise light movement. There's like two of them over here, but I think I Crocked one of them. <gasps> Paper plane. Finally, we can have some fun. Woo! Nice. Hmm. Kind of surprised that weird globe didn't seem to do anything. Just be a little careful here. This looks like this is back in that main room that we like started in. Who's in the bird cage? God. I kind of don't like these guys. Check out the, uh, I guess it's the painting of the door. Guess I was doing it the wrong way. Huh? Did it go back? God damn it. This is gonna suck. No! Thought I would block him again.
I think this just feels a bit more tedious than it does properly, like, scare. They were, they were kind of spooky before when they were running around. There's like nothing else I can really do to make this easier, right? Really had to both be like right there. Oh, I just realized that there's light. Um, but that doesn't seem to be enough for me. Ooh, you were a sneaky fella. You weren't supposed to circle around that way. They don't make it easy to, uh... Grab a lot of them at once, either. Come on, come on, come on. Almost got it. Fuck. Loads of them just hanging out. Let me through. Can I climb? Oh, thank God. Let's play the piano. Well, thank you, piano man. I was just doing it for fun, but if you insist, was that four? How many did I get actually? I have no idea. I like the, uh, oh, you can even see, I guess, the full extent of what the, what the mall looks like, like the bottom of it. Kind of like one of those scary, uh, scary iceberg things. Do I have to just leave? Or a button? Didn't see a button. That door is proper closed. Knock on the door. Close the maw? Pull the light that starts blinking? Very cool. And then we're back here. Alright. Are we done with the shadow children? Hoping the answer is yes. Did that globe really not do anything? It's way too suspicious. It probably does. I just didn't do it right. All right. Not feeling this room. I guess I never was really feeling any rooms, but... Jesus Christ. <laughs> that, uh, really... Really got me there. The 
That freaked me out. Uh, I assumed there would have been something there. Actually, see her face there. She hates it. I'm sure it's fine. Should have kind of expected her to be able to see me in the mirror, honestly. I was about to say something to that regard, and then uh, she freaked out. I don't know where I'm going right now. I'm missing like one float something, I think, and I would like it before something spooky happens. I'm sure something spooky is going to happen. Yeah, good room. Can you not, lady? There's a place over there. Jesus, no. <laughs> she, she's, uh... Freaking me out. It's kind of what I was expecting from that one other mannequin room. Oh, I did it. I might not have found all of them, but I did find this one. kind of considered that this room looked like it was a bit more hidden than the hallway was. You kind of barely see that door there. Okay, time to get spooked. Okay, can't really get to door. Why did I even come here? I don't even see anything in here. Is that door going to be open? Yep. Okay. Mm well, that seemed like something I couldn't avoid. Oh, shit. So I guess we know what the gnomes are now. She gnomed me. This is just like Kingdom Hearts. I don't think there's really much reason to explore. I can't really... Oh, I can run. I can't really do much else. Doors closed. Don't have lights. Do a little... Goofy gnome run. I've been straight up gnome. Can I... I can't pull, so I'm gonna have to squeeze. I don't know where I am right now. Can't really jump either. 
I like how they made that look like specifically like yeah that would have been jumpable if you were if you were a runaway kid but now you're just a gnome oh we're back in the little food section just gnomoning up I can't even grab, so I don't think there's floatsum bottles here. The elevator. Can't really do anything with that button, I don't think. Can I unknown? There's a geisha doll. There's sleepy buddies over here. I guess I need to jump down that hole. Yep. Yep. So this is what life's like as a gnome. Oh, shit! Oh, I see that sausage. I'm gonna be a nice, friendly little gnome. You know, I said in the main playthrough that I thought it was... DLC kid that was feeding her when, like, he threw the bread. Uh, I guess I was technically right about him feeding her, just not at the right moment. Oh, they don't even show it either. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> Poor runaway kid. Never stood a chance. That was pretty good. Um, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. There's not really much to say about it. It was fine. Didn't really... It answered the question of what the gnomes are. Why the gnomes are is still up for debate. I know that there is the comic I think I mentioned in the main playthrough. And apparently there is a phone game, which I did know about, but I thought it was like a fan game for some reason. It's called The Tiniest Nightmare. It seems weird, because I guess... Six is like out of the maw hanging out and the raincoat belongs to someone else so I don't really know about that. I think the biggest problem that Little Nightmares could possibly have is over explaining things. So like the way that they showed how how gnomes are even though they didn't specify what gnomes are. Oh shit that's what the side was. It's a TV. I think I remember hearing about this as the thing that was shown in the trailer for Little Nightmares 2. It does a good job at raising questions without frustrating and not explaining enough to like really make things annoying. Like I, I think it having there's no new masks, having more new material will potentially ruin things. Like I don't Little Nightmares 2 doesn't even really look like it has much to do with this one. Because it's like weird in the woods and you've got a paper bag on your head. It probably does have something to do with this one. Or at least we'll make reference to it. But my hope is that it wouldn't explain a lot. So yeah, we got all five there. We only got two here. Not bad, I would say. We did pretty good. I think there's, again, additional trophy stuff that I could do. But besides the floatsome... Let's uh, look to see exactly what we got. As far as extras go. Start with this. So those are just kid drawings. The... At least the, like, two on the left were in... The paintings. I especially remember the second one. 
that just looks like a... Maybe it wasn't a lady, that just looks like a... <laughs> a, like, wrinkly old man hanging out in the water. Alright, just simple. Oh, ooh! I kind of like that weird way they walk in that bottom picture. I like also the, like, everything that's anchored down to the ground is just so they have a nice little house to live in. Alright, well now it looks like a lady. I guess they do crawl in the water before they, like, stand up. That is very scary. That that looks like some, uh... Looks like some, uh, stories to tell in the dark kind of scary face. Oh, that's a nice picture of the maw. That fish is pretty large. And then it just has, like, big nets at the bottom to catch stuff. That's cool. Cool detail there that you don't actually see. <laughs> the gnomes, the... Coal mines, library, loads of libraries, much books, shadow children. There's a, I guess, general sketch of what she's supposed to look like. So yeah, I, I miss, miss like three things, which probably aren't too bad. It just would have all been coal mine related stuff. Oh yeah, that was a little nightmares complete edition. <laughs> We did it, uh, it all. Uh, I'm excited for Little Nightmares 2. I think it's going to be pretty neat. 